I have been taking $1.25 and turning it into $5,000 with just using an Amazon return store. Now, if you don't know what that is, just picture a giant warehouse and filled with Amazon returns. And what they do is every single day is a different price. So it starts at like Friday, $14, and it goes all the way down to Wednesday or Thursday for just $1. All you have to do is run in there and be the first one to find the item. We're doing really well with this series, so let's keep going. All right, it is $3 day today, it is a Tuesday. Um, we're just gonna go in the store and see what we can find. So, let's go. All right, so we ended up spending $105.04. Uh, there's a discount on there, uh, just because of something that happened yesterday, but we got it resolved today, so no big deal. Um, so $105, one of those range finders will cover it, and then everything else will be, it's a pretty good profit. Um, one more store we're gonna hit up. You might see it, you might not, I don't know. This store's kind of hit or miss, the one we're about to go to, so let's keep going. And not too bad they're either really um six dollars and 42 cents two items at three dollars we actually managed to get five items out of that though because of that um because they were all packaged together and i love finding stuff like that um usually i keep an eye out for that kind of stuff anyway because you know you're getting it for you know less than a dollar a piece at that point so not too bad for i think i was in there maybe 20 minutes uh, it just gets kind of tiring going through all those boxes because they they don't organize them at this store like they do the other one. But anyway, that's it for today. So I'll see you in the next clip. The next day. All right, so I can see everybody skipping over this part. So what I'm going to start doing is just shorten it for you guys. Uh, let me know if you like this idea or not. But in the background, you can see all the items that I sold over Wednesday and Thursday. And I'll just have the fees and the total sales on the top of the screen. And then the money that got returned to us, or you could call it our profit, I guess, will be at the bottom. So I'm not going to do a breakdown of every single item cost. I think that would take me way too long. But in general, we're just trying to accumulate the goal. So I think it's okay. The next day. We ended up spending $328.67. Um, hopefully that was in the budget. If not, I'll just take the camera off, but the camera will pay for everything. We negotiated it down from 210 to 170, and then we threw in the Instax camera, which we got for 40, which will sell for anywhere from like 80 bucks or so. So um, overall, not bad. The items we got in general were good. Um, the rolling set i'm actually going to take the plate against sports and just get it sold off there because there's nothing moving on ebay um, i do know that those catcher sets sell for like 175 ish brand new um, so i might get like 50 to 80 bucks at the um the third party store so if you don't have a plate against sports it's basically um a place that buys used sporting goods and then they resell them so it's an easy way to get cash and it's a good way to flip things fast but let's keep going so that's exactly what we did. We went the next day to play it against sports and we showed it to the guy. He did say we'd make a little bit more money if we sold it online, but he gave us a quick 50 bucks. All right, so we ended up spending $370 on that trip. Uh, I know that sounds like a lot, but we're gonna make some okay money on this stuff. 
So I'll show you the receipt real quick. Let's see if you can see that. Um, the hard drive is pretty solid. The processor will move pretty quick, and so will the Callaway rangefinders. I don't know what the deal is with those things, but they seem to sell as soon as I uh, as I post them. So I'm making anywhere from like forty to fifty dollars a piece on them. Um, most of them are going to California, so the shipping's a little a little tough there. But um, yeah, so not bad. Um, I didn't have my mic, so I need to record it right now. But let's keep going. Uh, we've got some good stuff coming up. I'm actually recording this a few days later, but um, I've got some faith. So let's go. The next day. All right, so we spent $189 on that trip. Um, nothing bad. Like I said previously, the um, Golf uh, Scope Finder, whatever it is, it actually already sold. I listed it on my way home, and it sold before I got home. And then the um, the Ecobee thermostat, that'll sell relatively quickly as well. They always do for me. And then even the $7 items that we got were really good as well. So pretty solid day. Um, we'll make most of our money back with um, the... Callaway and then the rangefinder and then everything else will be really good profit. So again, I am recording this a few days later. Um, most of this has sold already, spoiler alert, but uh, let's keep going. We've got a few more days, I think, before the video ends, so um, let's keep going. The next day. All right, so we're starting off pretty strong with these Callaway rangefinders. I did have five of them and they all sold over the weekend, which I was really happy about, but I did want to talk about why you've got the stats and the items in the background. Um, I think I might be getting a little bit burnt out on making these Amazon videos, um, at, or at least the style that I'm working on right now. I, I want to try something a little bit different uh, in the future, and I kind of wanted to get your guys' opinion on that. I think this day-by-day day is getting a little repetitive for people, and I'm not sure if it really warrants a view every single time. So I am willing to try a little bit different format because I am going to be going to these stores all the time because it's pretty easy money in my opinion and it's going to be a big part of my income until yard sales start in the summer. So let me know what you think. That is it for today. I'll put the number on screen as far as whatever funds we have left and uh, we got to keep moving. We're spending a lot more money and we need to move things. So let's go. The next day. All right, we ended up spending $22.65 for quick little four items, small, easy to ship. Uh, we're looking at probably, I wanna say maybe 200 bucks or something like that in sales, so uh, not too bad. It is 11.23, so we were in there probably about an hour. Um, not the best turnout, but we made some money. So I'm gonna check out one more store and then I'm gonna hit the gym. We spent ten dollars and seventy cents. Uh, just got a couple of things, so nothing crazy. I usually don't come to this one very often anyway, but I was just down the road, so uh, we'll probably make 60 70 bucks, something like that. Just did a quick walkthrough, I think I was in there maybe 15 minutes max, so not bad. Let's go. The next day, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and put the number on screen for today's sales and put our profit up there for you. This was a quick day, we only had a few items sell from the Amazon series at least, and it was a good deal.
are in and out uh, there's usually way too many people in there on on Wednesday so I don't really spend a whole lot of time but we got four things uh, probably 2015 probably 60 bucks at most maybe 50 60 bucks uh, it's been four dollars and 28 cents so not bad there's one more spot that has a dollar a day that I'm gonna drop by real quick so let's go see All right, we spent a dollar and seven cents on one thing. <laughs> I didn't even record in there. It didn't even feel worth it, honestly. I, the line was really the worst part. I only walked through for about five minutes, and then it took probably another 15, 20 minutes to get through the whole line. So um, not super worth it, but hey, 30 bucks is 30 bucks, right? So let's keep going. And that does it for today's episode, so I appreciate you all watching. Um, I'll go ahead and put the final number right here. Um, and I will also have the link to the playlist down in the description if you want to check out the other episodes. Thank you all for being here, and I'll see you guys next time.